I don't even know what I'm talking about. and fifth graders, welcome back to your TV classroom. We're excited to have you. Me too. Let's check in with our zones before we get started. Okay, okay zone check-in. Coming right up, sorry. feeling today? <laughs> it's okay, Mr. Kevin. Let this. me just go ahead and talk over you. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> it's all right. Friends, how are you feeling? What zone are you in today? Hmm. Now, Ms. Oslin, these yes. are fourth and fifth graders. Yes. Do, do you think that they'll want to do our acting out our feelings? I think, I think it's good practice. I think they do want to. Yes. It's super fun. Maybe they don't have to freeze frame because they're fourth and fifth graders. Maybe they get to do actions and not be frozen. Oh. Yeah, because they're old enough to really be in control of their bodies Let's and make it. good decisions. So you get to, instead of telling us how you're feeling today, yes. you get to act it out and maybe ask someone around you if they can figure it out. You get to try to figure our feelings out today. Do we get to use words or noise? We can use noise, no words. Noise, no words. Does that work? It's kind of yes. like charades. Yes. Okay. Okay. You ready? I'm going to count down from three. When I get to zero, it's your turn to act it out. Three. Two, one, zero. <laughs> Friends. Ms. <laughs> <Ms>. Oslin. <laughs> Ooh, I've never seen Ms. Oslin Google this hard before. <laughs> Are you hungry? <laughs> yeah. My stomach was hungry. It was talking. <laughs> Yes, I got Miss Oslin to laugh uncontrollably. Oh, friends, here's the thing. I've laughed uncontrollably so many times on TV Glassroom, but Miss Oslin, she's really good at staying composed. <laughs> but not today. Students, these are tears of joy. <laughs> Seriously. Oh, oh, you got me. We get to have fun here on the TV oh, Glassroom. That was fun. I thought you might like the sounds. <laughs> it was the sound that got me, so I'm glad we went with that. <laughs> go, 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 go. <laughs> oh, did you figure out how Miss Oslin was feeling? <laughs> Not now, but I was. <laughs> good to go. Was good to go. <laughs> Mr. Kevin, I couldn't see yours because the camera was in my way. What was oh, yours? Okay. Can you show it again? So, I'm going to peek around the camera. Sure, I, I was. see how you were feeling. My, my feeling was like this. He's feeling nice. good to go. You look like proud. Yeah. Proud. Well, You're I am proud. proud. Why are you proud? Well, you know, today happens to be, uh, uh, I don't know, it's not national. It's producer's day. Yeah. It's, today it's is an, producer's it's a day. Did Mrs. you know that? Wally, Miss Oslin made up day. I know. I think we should make it a thing. I we love should. totally made up days. Yeah, we it's wanted wonderful. to appreciate so Mr. Kevin. So thank you for yes. appreciating me as You're your welcome. producer, and uh, and to you students and parents watching, we appreciate you. We oh, do. so this all started because last week in mm -hmm. TV classroom was Teacher Appreciation Week. So Mrs. Wally and I got notes from people. We got balloons, cards. We got a balloon. And goodies, a lunch. And it just felt really. good. Good to feel appreciated and noticed. And we said we need to do this. And we did some appreciation of te appreciating of teachers mm -hmm. and some of the people here where we film. Mm -hmm. And we said we've got to do that more. This is great. Mm -hmm. So we said, let's plan a secret day for Mr. Kevin. And that's what we did. And we surprised him this morning. We did. And now, do you, I noticed Mr. Kevin then paid it forward to families and students who are watching yep. just now. So, maybe that's something you can do today. Find a way to appreciate someone in a small way. Mm -hmm. it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't have to be buying things. No, it can just be like a picture oh. or write a little note of why you appreciate them. 
as or a, do something for them. Like maybe, mm. maybe in your home, you split up the chores and maybe for one of your siblings or for your parent, you say, I'll do the dishes tonight. You relax. Thank you for all the hard work. That, that would make me cry true tears of joy. Mm -hmm. Someone Aww. doing that, something like that. Yeah. That's so kind. We can show our appreciation in many ways. Yes. You know, it's true. When you appreciate someone, it makes two people feel good. And then everybody works better together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good luck. Let's do our three personal standards. Let's do it. Today and every day, we agree to show, show respect, respect, make, make good decisions, decisions, and solve problems. problems. One way we show respect here in the TV classroom is by holding space mm. to recognize and honor our indigenous lands and people here in the Tacoma area. And we're going to do that by inviting you to look outside your window if you're able. Mm -hmm. Look at the sky, look at the trees, look at your surroundings. Our physical space stands on the historical and ancestral lands of the Puyallup Tribe of Indians. We acknowledge the Puyallup Tribe of Indians community, their elders, both past and present, as well as future generations. We make this acknowledgement as part of our work to dismantle the ongoing legacies of settler colonialism and unjust treatment. Now, you said we're holding space for this. It means we're setting aside time that is important that we would normally use for something else to make space for this process and to mm -hmm. listen and to learn and to honor and respect these people that have not always been honored and respected. So I often think about teachers saying, you know, I don't have enough time in the day. I don't have enough time or in the day. Or students saying, I don't have enough time in the day. Time. We're making the time. We're making the time because, because it's, it's important. important. Yeah. And we're going to continue to study this statement, study the history, study ourselves and yes. what we think and feel and try to become better members of this our Tacoma community. Yes. Okay, our brain game. Okay, what's our brain game today? It's the same as we did with, Ooh. yes, okay. where we're going to think of scenarios, mm -hmm. which means situations, and show how we would feel in that situation. As either the person, either side. Yes. You pick it which side you'd feel. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to act out what you would do. If you were... Mm hmm Okay. So we think of some scenarios. What are you thinking, Ms. Austin? I'm thinking I'm going to use your example of how we could show appreciation. Okay. And I'm thinking that um, pretend someone in your class or in your family or where you live has done something for you that you appreciate. Ooh. Maybe they offered to do your chore. Maybe they made your lunch. Maybe they said, hi, I'm happy you're here today. Maybe they said, thank you for doing that. I appreciate you. Oh, how are you going to feel? Because people can feel differently about oh, this. Oh, they can. Sometimes people are uncomfortable with positive attention like that. <laughs> they can be. So think about how you would feel. Especially if it's public. Mm. So is this a public display or is this like one-on-one -on -one oh. display of appreciation? Because that would change how I feel. Let's say public. Okay. Which means with lots of people watching. Lots of people watching. Maybe like you get an award or something unexpectedly. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Count down from three. Three, three two, two, one, zero. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Interesting. Mm -hmm. We feel differently. Yeah. <laughs> I can tell by your <laughs> smile. It's like that emoji that's like, hmm. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's how I would feel. How would you feel? Really, really uncomfortable. Interesting. I don't mind like someone handing me a note or saying privately to me, thank you for what you've done. But if it's public, I just want to shrink into a hole and hide. I would feel really proud. Which is so funny because it's almost opposite of our personalities. I know. I find that really interesting. Because <laughs> I'm normally the very loud, boisterous person, and Ms. Oslin's more quiet and reserved. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to public displays of appreciation. Mm. So if, if you had warning, like if someone said, mm. Mrs. Wally, we're gonna, we would like to honor mm -mm. you. No. Mm -mm. Would we'll just do it privately. Do it privately. <laughs> okay. 
Very interesting. Mm -hmm. This is why it's important to know. I mean, I would appreciate it. I would just feel uncomfortable. Yeah. But I would appreciate that. Like, I wouldn't be mad about it. Right. But I, I would, um, it just makes me, like you can tell, I'm just like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> makes me really nervous. Because so. I don't want anyone to feel bad. Right. And that's where it comes from. I don't oh. want other people to feel bad because maybe they did something and they didn't get appreciated for it. Oh. So I would just prefer to not have it and do it privately so that nobody feels bad. I was muted. <laughs> so when you get the Oscar for best TV teacher, <laughs> don't expect a really great speech. Mm -mm. You'll just turn beet red. Yep. My face will get beet red. It'll get hot. My heart will beat really fast. I'll be sweating. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So maybe we'll just pass you a note <laughs> that says, <laughs> this shit. is Wally. You have won an Oscar. <laughs> what about you, Ms. Aslan? <laughs> um, I would like why would why would, would I you like to win an Oscar and it be public and yes <laughs> <laughs> I would very much yeah that's interesting it's really interesting Mrs. Mrs. Oslin would say uh, I'd like to thank the Academy uh, my I would be kids like, I, my I, I husband thank my Oliver <laughs> I just wouldn't I would yeah that is so interesting okay so now let's act out what we would. Do. If we were in that situation. If we were in that situation. So I would feel proud, but what would I do? You would feel nervous. Very. Or uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. What would you do? Okay. So this doesn't have to be a statue. No, you can move. You can move. Three, two, one, zero. <laughs> I see how you like put your hand up like thank you mm -hmm. that's enough <laughs> let's move on <laughs> Mr. Kevin's giggling back there it's just so interesting it how is. we can all act and feel so differently in the same situation right? it's very dependent on the situation and that's why it's important to know people and know how they would feel in a situation mm -hmm. because now I know I would not want to give Mrs. Wally an award or have I would a accept it graciously, but I would be very nervous. <laughs> and I wouldn't want you to feel uncomfortable, right. right? So then I would not want to do a grand gesture. Yeah, I, I definitely like the smaller gestures. Yeah. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. And I know I need to get Miss Oslin an Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working on my EGOT, actually. <laughs> there you go, there you go. <laughs> you, you may want to explain what an EGOT is. EGOT is someone who's won an Emmy, a Grammy, an Oscar, and a Tony. So all the things. All in, the major. In, so like John Legend. Yeah, all the things in all of like yeah. the um, production yes. entertainment industry. Mm -hmm. mm. We'll That's see. so funny. Well, let's hurdles. look at our hurdles. Yeah. Hurdles. There they are. There we talked are. about interrupting. Oh, they be so hard. Blaming others, mm -hmm. excluding others, discussion problems, like not sharing the airtime. That's something I used to struggle with a lot. Mm -hmm. How did you overcome that? Well, first I had to figure out I was talking. Oh. And that's how I process. I had to learn about myself oh. that I process by talking. And then I had to figure out how to do that need in a way that was constructive in a group environment and mm. find ways to process and like I do my nose thing, like mm -hmm. I'm ready to talk, I had to find things for myself that allowed me to be respectful of other people's mm -hmm. ways of processing and my own. Hmm. And then we learned about hurtful words and mm -hmm. revenge. Yeah. Those are all very natural things. Very, revenge is very natural. When you're hurt, you wanna hurt back. Mm -hmm. It's a really normal feeling. You're well, you can have that feeling. Oh, yes. But don't act on it. No because we learned our cool rule or our platinum rule is to treat others the way they, they want, want to, to be, be treated. treated. And today we're gonna learn, this is an interesting lesson, learning the cost of jumping to conclusions. <gasps> oh, I'm really bad at this. So we have to figure out what does it mean, jumping to conclusions? Cause I'm like picturing like jumping. No. Oh, it's not. It's when something happens, you assume Oh. or decide why it happened without actually asking the other person why. Oh. So like, 
if someone does something, I assume they did it on purpose. Right. You're jumping to a conclusion that they were trying to hurt you. Oh. When really, they may not have even thought about the outcomes of what they were doing. Okay. And they actually mm. were trying to show you respect, but they didn't do it in a way that you felt respected. That goes back to the cool rule. <laughs> Treat others the way they want to be treated. All roads lead back to that rule. They do. Like, I'm thinking about our three personal standards mm -hmm. earlier, and I'm like, we could just change it to the cool rule, because that's all of those. Oh, it really is. Here, we treat others the way they want to be treated. Yep, which means... We solve problems, respect, we, we show solve respect, problems. we make good decisions. Hmm. Hmm. I like hmm. it. TV classroom, always evolving. Always. I just think it's a really good rule. I do, too. We're going to answer the question by the end of this lesson, which strategy will you use in the future mm. to stop yourself from jumping to conclusions or making assumptions about why someone did or said something? Well, you're going to have to stop and think. Mm. That's for sure. We're gonna, we have a video that we're going to watch that's going to a give us video. an example. Here we go. Oop, look at that. <laughs> I'll wait for you. Okay, here we go. Check out this highlighter flash. Cool, right? It smells like cherries. Way cool. Hey, red is my favorite color. I'll be back. I'm gonna get a drink of water. That is the most amazing highlighter ever. Hey, my highlighter is gone. It was right there. Hey, Flash, you took my highlighter. Me? I didn't take it. Oh. Nobody took the marker. It was on the ground. Ooh. Mm -hmm. So one of our characters jumped to the conclusion that their friend took the marker when really it was on the ground. It was on the ground. So, we learned about stop in your tracks and get the facts. That's right. And this can help us not jump to conclusions. It sure can. You have to stop and figure out and assess the situation. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling, right? Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm losing control. Mm -hmm. This feels, I feel like someone's done something to me, but before I make that assumption, mm -hmm. what's happening here? Get yourself calm. Mm -hmm. Get yourself to a place where your rational brain can think. Because if you're at a four or a five, you can't do this. Mm -mm. So if you're really angry, you need to stop and stay cool. Mm -hmm. You may need to tell people, I need some space. Yep. And then you're going to do some stop and think. Use self-talk to help myself calm down. So this might sound like, I know my friend wouldn't steal my marker. I wonder where the marker went. But I feel like they did. Maybe I should ask them instead of accuse them. Mm. Hey, have you seen my marker? It disappeared off the table. And the friend might say, mm -hmm. no, I haven't. Let me help you look for it. Instead of, you took my marker. I see this a lot. <laughs> I do too. If we just stop and think, get the facts, ask questions, then we don't jump to conclusions or make mm -hmm. assumptions or think we know what's happening. I do this with my siblings a lot. Oh. Mm -hmm. Do you do this with your siblings? Mm, if you have them or your friends? I find I do it a lot with people that I know really well. Yep. Because I think I know them. I think I know what they would That's do. That's right. And so I know they were doing it to be mean mm -hmm. when they weren't. Mm -hmm. So today we are learning the cost of jumping to conclusions. So Ooh. what is the cost? Well, let's think about that situation. Ms. Oslin, let's say I need my green marker. Okay? Mm, okay. You took my marker and I needed it. I didn't take it. Yes, you did. It's gone. You're the only person up here. So where would it have gone? I don't know. <laughs> wow. Do you notice that Mrs. Molly hmm. got upset? Was I willing to help? Nope. Nope. Shut down. I've just damaged our relationship. Mm -hmm. Wow. And remember. Oh, this is an important lesson. Every time 
you choose not to treat someone the way they want to be treated, this is your relationship with them. Mm -hmm. Each time, the crinkles. Now, you can say you're sorry, you can make amends, and you can become friends mm -hmm. again. But it doesn't matter if I take an iron to this paper, you've still damaged it. And I'm still gonna think that, think about how Mrs. Wally made me feel. Right, so, so there's that. Me. So that's how, that's when, when we did that's that, that's what happened, there was a cost. Now, let's try it again. Miss Oslin, have you seen my green marker? No, wasn't it just right there? Yeah, it disappeared, I need it for the input chart. Oh weird, let's look around. Oh, oh it's on the ground. It rolled off the table. That was so funny, there it thanks is. so much. Mm-hmm. Not damaged. Compare the two. Yep. There we go. There's a good side by side. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When we jump Just to by asking conclusions instead of blaming. Stop in your tracks and get the facts. Mm -hmm. Figure out what really happened, not what do you think happened. Not what do you want to have happened, not what do you feel is happening. Because our, sometimes our feelings don't match the situation. This happens with me and Mr. Wally. Oh because he communicates differently than I do. Mm -hmm. And so I've learned to say, I am feeling like you mean da 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 da. Is that what you're intending to say? Oh, you're getting And he'll facts. say, yes or no, that's not what I meant at all. What I meant was da 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 da. So instead of jumping to a conclusion mm -hmm. and assuming that you know what I he meant. Ask him, if it made me feel uncomfortable or upset, mm -hmm. I ask instead of assume. And you give him the time and space to explain what he meant. It works so well when we're communicating, mm. especially because we have a child. It's hard when you have a child. But just even in my friendships, it works so much better to ask, did you intend for this to be da da da? Mm. Because this is how it felt. Mm -hmm. And then you give them time to say either, yeah, I'm really mad at you, and or no, I didn't mean that at all. Thank you for telling me. That's a great strategy. Mm -hmm. And it preserves your relationship. So now you get to decide what strategy or strategies mm -hmm. will you use in the future to stop yourself from jumping to conclusions. Because jumping to conclusions damages, damages relationships. relationships. And this is what you are gonna send to us either on Flipgrid, if mm -hmm. you're comfortable, or- Once Mrs. Wally gets it up. <laughs> once Mrs. Wally gets it up. Or you could choose one of these two ways that Mr. Kevin's going to tell you all about. Okay, fourth and fifth graders, if you send us an email, we would love that. We would love that. And we wouldn't jump to any conclusions, mm -mm. right? Nope. So nope. send it to tvclassroom at tacoma.k12.wa.us or send us an, uh, something in the mail, TV classroom. Act something out. Wouldn't that be cool? <sighs> Act really something neat. out. I would love to see it. Either do it on Flipgrid or, or send us a picture, whatever you want. TV Classroom, 601 South 8th Street, Tacoma, Washington, 98405. Awesome. Now it's time for our affirmation. Mm -hmm. I think we need to include our cool rule because that just kept coming up. It did. It really is the thing that holds relationships together. It is. I treat others the way they want to be treated. And it's important. So I'll take a deep breath. And say our affirmation. I, I treat, treat others the, the way, way they want, want to, to be, be treated. treated. Excellent job today, fourth and fifth graders. We hope you have a great rest of your day. Mm -hmm. And we look forward to seeing you back here next time in our TV classroom. Bye.
One, you have 10 seconds to pick your crewmate. Two, a new timer will appear with an exercise for the crewmate you picked. Three, you will get 10 points for each correct crewmate and exercise you choose. Four, if you pick the imposter, you will lose all your points. Five, see how many points you can get. Good luck.